Hi, I'm Steve Gottlieb from Aerotech Sales. Today I'm going to show you how to rig our two cam sail, the Rapid Fire. When rigging any sail, you want to look for a nice smooth area to rig, preferably out of the wind. You start out, unclip the elastic band, roll the sail out, head to the wind. The Rapid Fire is a twin cam sail. You've got one cam above the boom right here, another cam below the boom right there. When you rig this sail, because it is a fairly narrow sleeve, even though it's a twin cam, you want to thread the mast through the cambers. Start out at the bottom. Grab the cam with your hand. Thread the mast through the cam. Reach up to the next cam, thread it through, and work the cams down the mast. It's better not to lay the sail on the ground when you're doing this, because that can make the cam pop off. Make sure the mast tip is seated all the way at the top of the mast, and continue to work the cams down the mast. Next, you want to set your base extension. A good starting point is look at the luff, add it to your mast, and start there. Hold the bottom base pad up. Okay, you want to start by threading your, your, your downhaul pulley. Start out at the inner pulley. Go to the pulley closest to the cleat. Go down through the outer pulley. Down to your bottom pulley here. And then always want to finish on the middle pulley. This way none of your lines will cross. Go through the cleat. Put a little bit of tension on it. Once you have some tension on it, you can lay the sail on the ground without worrying about the cambers popping off. Next thing you want to do is put your boom on. When you don't have too much downhaul on, it makes it real easy to thread the boom onto the mast. From here, you want to go to your outhaul. This boom has a loop and go system, so it makes it real easy to do your outhaul. You just take a loop, thread it through the grommet, and around the rear of the boom. And you outhaul it. Outhaul it firm, makes it easier to do the downhaul. The rapid fire does need a little more tension than our no cam sails. A, a, a rigging tool will make it easier. If you're not using a rigging tool, get a couple wraps around. And it's best to put your foot on the bottom and pull it all at once. The rapid fire requires a little bit more tension than our no cam sails. Um, as you can see here, there's a fair amount of looseness. The looseness on this is set at, I would call your medium to high wind setting, and you got looseness going to about three quarters of the way in. Your, your light wind setting is going to be looseness right around the middle here. You can see it, the looseness goes all the way down, uh, almost to the, to the boom. With the uh, rapid fire, you've got a big range of outhaul settings. Everything from all the way on the boom, like it is right now, to positive outhaul tension. It really, you just want to tune for comfort. When it's windy, outhaul it more. When it's light, a little bit less. Most of the performance Aerotech sails are equipped with a tack strap. The tack strap normally is wrapped around the bottom of the extension, or you can put it around your universal joint, depending on what you prefer. You want to tension the tack strap to a firm setting, 
in light wind, you actually want more tension on a tack strap. In high wind, less tension. It, it will control the shape in the bottom of the sail a bit, and it'll also affect your leech tension slightly. With the rapid fire, you want to have less tension on your top four battens. Just enough tension to take the wrinkles out, but don't try and force any shape in there. When you get down to the bottom three battens, that's where you need a little more tension. Uh, looking at the third from the bottom here, that's your top cam. That, that one would need more tension and it, it'll force some shape into it. It'll take the wrinkles out and going beyond a little bit more than just taking the wrinkles out will force a little shape into the sail there. Same goes for the next two battens. All of the Performance Aerotech sails have an interactive rigging guide. This is really useful for setting your sail up. As the sail stretches, your, your numbers will change slightly. So just use your, your luff measurement as a starting point and then you can adjust this little piece of Velcro to whatever setting works best for you.